Blatt, but also for his father, a retired great northern employee. Willett's mother just had surgery, and the talk of bankruptcy, including the proposal to do away with retiree benefits, left Willett's father wondering how he would pay the medical bill. Enough's enough. We don't want to give any more. And let's just get it all out. Let's take care of it now and see what happens. Among the issues the workers want to take care of is Great Northern's proposal to put a temporary end to 401k contributions and severance pay, funds that could be crucial for workers if the bankruptcy eventually goes through and the workers are forced to retrain and relocate. Meanwhile, the local business community is also facing hard decisions about how to survive without Great Northern. We have had one employee that I've had to lay off. Perhaps. They've done it with a total disregard for the employees. Great Northern's Very Brian Stetson says there are reasons the company did what it did, but he can't elaborate until after the bankruptcy proceedings are resolved. The case goes back to court on Wednesday. Alan Grover, WABI, TV5 News. Some of the 1,100 workers and their families, and one of GNP's landmark deal with the Nature Conservancy to protect thousands of acres from development is all of our team coverage on News Center 2 at 6. Now, this is right mill workers wonder how much longer they'll have a job. We have team coverage tonight. News Center's Ben French has details of what today's decision allowing GNP to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy will mean. And News Center's Sarah Darcy shows us what people in the Milwaukee region have to say about GNP's unstable and uncertain future. We begin with Ben French, who sat through today's hearings at federal court in Bangor. Me and my wife, my, my children, if I had had any at the time, but I don't, just, I have to live at home anymore. And uh, they just, uh, for some reason, did some kind of a deal, and, and I'm able to get emergency five-day financing from two private companies. They'll use that money to keep the heat and the lights on and to pay workers waiting for checks. Several of the creditors waiting for payment from Great Northern told us they're glad that so far it's not a total shutdown. They say it's in everyone's best interest for the mill to be up and running. I think our chances of seeing money will be greater if we have a going concern that's running and making paper available to a buyer or available to attract financiers that uh, financial support that will make it work. Amy Erickson, WABI TV5 News, Bangor. And there's still no word on when or if production will res resume at the mill. For now, operations are still shut down, and most workers are on what well, many people who live in those communities. The do. paper company has made use of Maine's natural resources and willing labor force. So when the owners of the mills in Millinocket and East Millinocket filed for bankruptcy protection, people here reacted with shock. They're still trying to absorb the news. We had a lot of rules last like two or three weeks on it. Family and his five brothers all work in the GMP on camera. Some were afraid of the consequences. Others were just too angry to speak. But the one thing everyone wanted to know is what happened to the money when GMP sold several thousand acres of land and the hydroelectric plant. Take in the Old Town paper mill. Normally that would mean more taxes for the mill, but under the tax the proposed tax increment financing plan, 90% of those additional taxes would be refunded until the year 2023. A plan still must be approved by the state. Well, we all know snow-covered roads with no salt or sand on them can be hazardous to drive on them.